Hello, this is Shante for Woman Crush Wednesday. Anyway, so I am, oh my gosh, I am just so elated. Okay, so I got to this point, right, where I started thinking, oh my God, like I'm just so upset about this and that and the other. And I hadn't realized that. Man, I've been in a dark place. You know, I was in a dark spot. So it's like, now I'm out of my dark spot. And I thought about this. Because when you're in your dark spot, you think, the one thing that comes to your head first is everything negative. Like, negative. Like, you said this to me. And you said, oh, my God, you fuck. You know, it's like, you just want to. But I didn't. I fell to my knees and I prayed. And I didn't think that I would get to that point again where I want to be like, you mother. And it's like, no, don't, you don't have to say that. All you had to do was pray. You know, you had to pray for their sins. You had to pray because, you know, somebody saying to you, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do, which is Lauren Hill. Okay. She cannot be my woman crush Wednesday today because I will, I would like, for real, I would start crying today. But, this other person is just as equally emotional for me, too. Okay? So, anyway, the first people that I want to thank, though, is just, like, all the women that were with me in college. I had one friend, Keisha. Then um, one of my best friends had another friend. And I I just put myself in competition with her because she was so pretty. Like, she did look like... A Kim Kardashian like she was already Kim Kardashian before Kim Kardashian was Kim Kardashian you know and then I had another friend who was like a black girl me and her kind of fell out but she was tall and gorgeous I'm telling you that if I had a light and it, and I'm gonna cry because if I had a light they would have made sure that it never went out like I had all these people around me telling me that I was I wasn't this and I wasn't that and you know and they were just coming to me and say the shit like they just <laughs> stepped to the side of me and tell me <laughs> all these horrific things you know like and and I would just be like okay I just keep walking you know like it's like okay I don't you know I don't know where it came from I didn't understand it I didn't know. You know, even the setup for trying to get me to be a porn star. And I, you know, all this stuff. So, they would come and they just be like, you are so beautiful. Shantae, you are so pretty. And I didn't wear makeup. I didn't put on lashes. I didn't. I just used to have natural hair and just my face. That's it. And they would. And I didn't remember that I had acne. Like, now I remember all that shit. I had acne. I was much. But in college, no. I just. It was just me. And that was it. You know, I didn't know how to do all that stuff. And I used to try. Sometimes I try. I try to, uh, I would put on eyeliner and mascara. That was it. And I, they would always tell me I was beautiful. No matter what. They would tell me I was beautiful. And my teeth were yellow. And, all, you know, that they would always tell me that I was beautiful. And at the time, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even hold it to heart. What happened was, is that I had this beauty, these beautiful people in my subconscious. Because I could not have ever seen anybody as beautiful as them. Actually, the girl Keisha, she looked like Gabrielle Union. She she, she looked just like Gabrielle Union. And like I said, the other person, she liked Kim Kardashian. But the black girl, she was her own. And I think today I share photos like that because she had her own beauty. And she wasn't, I don't know, she wasn't hood. But she wasn't, uh, she was refined. You know, she was regal. And for her to have to, um, for her to tell me that, I just thought, man, you, you dope. You know, like, I just thought, man, she's so dope, you know. And so, when I, now this is, so now my woman crush Wednesday comes down to this part. It comes down to Rihanna. Now, I missed, and I messed up because I was listening to Trevor Noah, and I was like, okay, I got Trevor Noah <clears throat> in this situation. I'm like, Trevor Noah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I listened to him because I just got on Facebook, and I heard him say that 126 years, they didn't have 
a black person on the cover or a black photographer. But really, they have 126 years. They haven't had a black photographer. Photographer, 23 years old. Dope as hell. That's awesome. The other thing is, is that Beyonce, even with that being said, Beyonce, um, what am I saying? Beyonce wasn't the first black woman. It was actually a... Oh, no, I forgot the name because I do this without um looking and she was gorgeous too like she was like one of my like for me she was gorgeous because she's one of the people that um that I used to look at when I was little um I used to look at her when I was little because I just thought that she was just um just this wonderful creature um Beverly Ann Johnson. I thought she was so pretty. I just could not like her and it was um man, I, to this day I still forget this woman's name and she just told it to me on Instagram. Niecy Nash told it to me on Instagram, y'all. For real, Niecy Nash. <laughs> when I, I love it for Niecy Nash. Okay, but anyway, anyway, it was like um I, it's not sure of Pepsi Riley. But Cheryl Pepsi Riley was like another person where I was just like in awe of them when I was younger. Just to look up and see that beauty on TV. Like it wasn't a lot of black people on TV. And you just like, oh my God, they she is beautiful. Like, I mean, it's just like, uh, I just cannot, I could like, I don't know. As a kid, they were those people that I looked at and like, man, I'm going I'm going to be so cute one day. I'm going to grow up and be cute like them, you know. Um, So, it's just like that was it for me. Like, I just really grasped, like, just how these people were, you know. Um, Even with uh, listening to Aretha Franklin and strength in her music and different things like that. So, anyway, that's a Timeless Tuesday situation. But let's get back to Woman Curse Wednesday. This person... It, 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 I love her music. I know her music because I hear it. I love to see her dance. And it's like, I just, I don't know. I just, it's something that I enjoy. Also, my son, he said her face makes him nervous. Not anything else. Just her face makes him nervous. So, this is the first time he actually got into my uh, Instagram. He's like seven years old. And he sees uh, Rihanna's face. And he's like, Mama, go back. I was like, okay. So I go back. And he's like, yeah, Mama, look at her face. It makes me nervous. Like, your face really, <laughs> you know. I was like, really? You know, and then it's a black girl. So I'm like, oh, yeah, you know. So that really touched me because I was like, man. So that's when I started kind of paying attention to what she likes. And I don't know if you guys ever heard my episode of I just don't want to be that mom that does not like the girls that my son brings home or the friends that my son brings home. I will tell him, though. I don't like it. it breaks his heart and I did not want to become that parent to tell him that but sometimes I got I have, right now I feel like I have to protect him when he gets older maybe I won't I don't know either way I'm still telling him but the thing is that if that's the kind of woman that he has a crush on I'm okay with that that's okay you know so and not like it's my opinion anyway like I can stop him from liking somebody but anyway um I just really did like that, that he liked her face, that her face made him nervous. And then that get, that helped me kind of tap into asking him questions about, you know, what he likes about a girl, how he treats a girl, and what he does. And for me, y'all, if y'all going to date my son, <laughs> you got a winner. You know what I'm saying? He is kinda, he's kind of sweet, and he has his head on straight right now. And it's like I hope that he continues to come to me with those things so that I'm able to help shape him into that good man that he needs to be for us for our community and for himself and you know for his community and whatever tribe that he becomes a part of you know so rihanna i she was on the cover of vogue too and i actually thought man she wasn't you know i was driving with one of my people and she was like yeah you know what about rihanna and i'm like rihanna you know i just have when when somebody is making money one way and then they come back and then they do something else different, you know, like where they giving money to the community, where they 
doing things for everybody else like where they um it it that's something where you just like that was her first key you see what i'm saying like she already knew that was going on that's why people get money because they've been in those situations and they know what's going on. They've seen it. They've heard it. They know it. Somebody in their family has done it. And so th for her to first go and help children who were with education, different things like that, that was like my first thing. Outside of everything else, this person has a heart to give, okay? Not only that, after doing that, she then prepares her whole Fenty line or whatever and she has her glow and all this different stuff and it's just like she is just she's she is gorgeous i just it's something in the way she is and i like her humbleness like she's still out there having fun you know it's it's just something great about that like where you have been able to fulfill those parts of yourself I also like that she gave her mother a house, you know, like just all like I saw that on Oprah or whatever. I do watch the videos of Rihanna, you know. I don't mention all of it all the time, but I just love it. Uh Shine Bright Like a Diamond. That's like one of my that's one of my most inspirational songs too, because it's like, um, you don't want people it's like always oh, somebody trying to, you know, take my shine. I'm already quiet sometimes, you know, I don't need you to come and cut me off and take my shine. I don't need that from you. Like, you know, I've, I've been in a couple of meetings where I've been with women and they, they try to snatch that from me. Like, it's like, I want to say something. It's like, no, you can't speak. Ah, I got this. This is mine. And it's like, no, you don't, you don't do that to me. You know, that's something you don't do. But this is the thing. When it's time for you to want to speak to me, guess what? You're not getting anything from me. You know, because that's me. Like you, you have already, you have already, um, taken that. You you already taken, you already you already had your chance. You understand? Know like you already had your chance to make that impression on me. And now that I see who you are, and see that you want to take over me, and you want to, you want to command me, not not <clears throat> deal with me on a level of. You a woman and I'm a woman and we gonna have a discussion, or giving me the respect that I need. You dealing at me on a level where you feel like you have to come in and break me down. Mm -mm, you ain't gotta do that. You ain't have to break nobody down. You 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 can love people and build them up, but you ain't gotta break nobody down. And so that's the one thing I'm looking at when I see Rihanna. It's like how when you see her, she's smiling, and I think it's a build up thing. You know, it's like. You could look at her and you could say, yeah, man, if if I was in a room with her, she would humble herself enough. And she has, like, she did this YouTube uh, video with this one guy and he did her makeup. He's a YouTuber. Um, who else? I saw, like, uh, when she did her event and she was just, like, third and she's just, like, herself. You know, herself. This woman of grandiosity, okay, is herself. And I just simply, simply adore it. And you know my son helped me kind of like, you know, because her face makes him nervous. And, uh, but that's it. I think that's my Woman Crush Wednesday. I did not do research. And I figured something out. And they always say in the art world, your weakness is your strength. Well, my thing is, I get shit wrong, y'all. I can't remember all this shit. Like, if I really, really, really delved into my own show... And did everything like I needed to. I, I mean, I would come out trying to be something I'm not. Which I am that way. Like, I mean, sometimes, I, like, it's like, it takes me now over a course of some time to want to figure out and reveal this person. You said, because, like, I like to do, I do like to get caught in a research loop. I do. I like it. But then I stop myself because I want to have tea or coffee or I want to, like, talk to my son or I want to go on a poke them in the back i don't know it does not matter i don't know but it's like i want to have those times with me so if i get some shit wrong please forgive me i'm not trying to get it wrong i really am trying to get it right i do look i read and i just go for memory but mostly of uh, most of all my i see where my podcast is it's based on my feelings it's based on how i see the person and how does how i see them shaping this world that's what that's what my podcast is my podcast may not be filled with facts 
but it will be filled with real love, joy, and all the things that these people kind of helped me get through without even knowing that they helped me get through it. That's, that's it. That's...